Hello and warm welcome to the 8th Newcomers Tournament. We are in Group C, Round 5. We have uh, Kawai, Otherfield, Raquet, and Corderas. We are on Mars, I'm Lahi, and casting with me is Jet Pingvin. Hello! And on this map, we seem to have high oxygen and high carbon, and the rest prices are pretty low. And the colony is an electronics colony, which started at uh, the normal price. So I would expect to see some glass found here, because that would be easy. <coughs> that would be cheap to build. And I quite like this found at the northeast. We have one single high iron tile, nearby aluminum, nearby ice, and one carbon tile. In fact, the only high carbon tile on the map. Which is a high price. Yeah, exactly where Kawaii found it. I really like this fun. Do you see any other good funds? Mm, I I think uh, the general area around where Kawaii found it would be great for steel users. And since there are no nukes, they can do they can do remote mining iron and go for other founds like uh, where there is some water is. Yeah, absolutely. And we see two nomads, one of which is where you wanted. I like this too. He grabs the only high carbon on the map and it's a strong starting price. So actually it's a really nice <clears throat> HQ1 claim from Racket and his other found is near silicon. Although I would prefer to see it adjacent to the high silicon instead of the geotherm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in ra rockets found in the northeast, uh, I think it should have been near the aluminum so that it, yeah. it has easier access to it. And I think Cordera's second HQ near single iron was uh, not a good placement. It should have been near either water or on aluminum. Yeah. One of the things you want with your HQ is to be able to put production buildings nearby, and being on a cliff here is going to hurt him too, and uh, needlessly far away from aluminum. We also have Elderfield, he went to a water pump and two reactors HQ1, which is an interesting start, but it can work when steel starts at $30, which he did in this particular map. Mm -hmm. And now he is able to go into a high aluminum and a high uh, iron, which is a pretty nice spot to be in, I like that. Yeah, I, li I like other fields and uh, what other field is doing because when there's still when the steel price is cheap, it's sometimes better to get into life support market first, so that they can buy steel with the profits from other markets. Yeah, absolutely. And we see a pretty impactful event here. So glass used to be forty and really cheap, but after this event, it will be a lot higher. And in particular, if you manage to buy in glass before this shortage happened, this event happened, you will have paid half as much as the price is now. And Elderfield did exactly that. So Elderfield right now is in a very, very good spot. Yeah, no one else has bought into any of the shortages. Except for Elderfield. Yeah. So... Yeah, they will have to sell down the few resources they are making at issue 2, and it's going to be tricky. Interesting food shortage. I, I'll be tempted to... Uh, if I were other view, I would, I'm tempted to rotate the reactors into farms, either right now or after the upgrade, which he can take right now. Yeah, it's nice in two ways. Uh, farms use less power than reactors. Power is starting to rise a bit, and of course, the price is higher. And we have a claim auction. Uh, we, yeah, we expect these people to sell down, like, uh, Kawai has to sell down steel to afford the glass. Steel is going to become really cheap. That's going to be good for Elderfield too, I think. Racket, meanwhile, he okay. seems to be covering his power. He has a single wind turbine and is making a tiny amount of power money. Once again, I would like to see this become two wind turbines, because you will make a lot more power money, and that will help you buy the Expensive things HQ you need. Well, Kodarvus is making electronics, which is a pretty good market. It's not actually the best farms right now. 
but it's probably the second best. And it will help him upgrade, so I don't mind it too much. Corderas mm, has went into two electronics factories, and while electronics factory is electronics is the carbon consumption, and they need it for the upgrades, and it's not a cheap, Pirates. not cheap right now. I think it would be better to get into food for now. First, because Kodars already has water secured, so they can support the farms. And second, farm is making more money than electronics right now. Yeah. Uh, can I manage to sell down the steel and pay for the glass so we made it to HG3? And uh, yeah, he should also be looking into food. Everyone should be making farms basically. After the shortage, it's, it's by far the best market if you have the water to support it. I have to point out that Kawaii took a water tile very far south. I would have much preferred him to just play some uh, solar condensers on the ice right above him. It's not, mm -hmm. it's still a lot of water, it's comparable to a low water. And uh, yeah, you save a lot on shipping, it's a big point. I think people, anyone should be grabbing 2k EMP and throw it on other field farms. Yeah. Because if they don't, other people might run away with fast upgrades, fast entry to other markets, and um, win the game, might. Yeah. So what Rocket did instead was to mutiny the reactor. However, this means he has to ship out water here, and wait and have this tiny amount produced, which currently on my screen at least are making minus $20 a second, and ship it back. So I think an EMP would have been uh, a much better attack than a mutiny here. And we have a carbon scrubbing auction. Now we have two players in carbon already, so and carbon is cheap. But it might rise later. It is chems and electronics in the colony. I'm not sure how much I will pay for it though. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Carbon is far away, and there's not easy access. Yeah, it's yeah. I might, I think forty might be a good price. But yeah, we see Elderfield has the most cash, he has the most claims, he has the highest HQ. He definitely would like to see people throw some mean pieces. Right. Mm -hmm. Mutiny on water pump by Kordaras. Um, which is nice uh, considering that it gives adjacency, but uh, water is not going crazy, and there is also made a, a new claim into new claim into water. So I'm not sure it's going to be more effective than other options. Uh, yeah, like EMP. Yeah, it helps him a bit more than EMP, but of course you have to be worried about other field right now. And the way you can see it is, of course, you hover over the their name. You see cash plus resources. And yeah, 85k is a very threatening amount, and he can pretty much majority buy racket if he wants to, with this amount of money. He can also upgrade. Both choices are good, I think. Racket. Um, Corderas has went into double chemical refineries. I think it should have been reactors because first chemical refinery cannot work long without fuel and second chemical price is not really high. Yeah, I agree. And I think currently reactors are the best building to be in. And we have a dust storm coming. So po power being pretty high, or well, it's medium high at least. During dust storm is also interesting because the turbines can really turn a game. Right now we have racket in one turbine, New land is available for auction. and the rest are in geos, so it won't be that impactful.
One thing you pro should probably do is stop auto-selling food, because the price of food will pretty much always go up after that time. If you start stockpiling it now, you can make some profit later. <clears throat> Cordaris just obtained a claim for 7k, which is very cheap, so it's nice for, nice for Cordaris. Yeah, that's a very good play. He uses mm -hmm. the Nomad's free claim returns to return it to wherever he wants it, instead of where the tile auction was. Other field is the first to eight, first to a pleasure dome, and it is going to make about three hundred dollars a second. Yeah. As, when there are at least two expensives, you can usually expect this to be good. Even though power is high, this still makes him money, and I liked it to play. And he knows he's in the lead, and pretty much the only way to lose is if he gets hit a lot with Black Market. And in response to that, he chooses to go for the Thinking Machines patent, which is perfect for that situation. I really like that choice. The engineers have advanced our production. I've... Yeah, I think Rocket the... needs to have auto supply on for his buildings here. Unfortunately, and these are currently Rocket... not doing anything. Rocket should also be using the claims they have on, like, uh, add a, another wind turbine on the existing one so they can get a JC bonus and use the dust storm as well. Yeah. Absolutely. We have mm, Cordaros, he is currently in quite a lot of depth, almost 200,000. I'm not sure why. I guess, yeah, he uses a lot of fuel, and fuel is really expensive, is that it? Uh, Cordaros uh, won the auction of carbon scrubbing for 40k. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has bought auctions for 79k total, actually. So yeah, maybe when you start getting a lot of depth, you might want to pay a bit less for the auctions. So right now, one way to combat this is to produce some more power. And if it gets worse, you can also pay down your debt manually with cash. Although I'm not sure it's necessary yet. But if it gets worse, you should look into that. And he has two solar panels. That I think should have been better as wind turbines, because usually Solar panels are good when there are when silicon is cheap, when there is a solar flare. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you have a superconductor, those are basically situations. And then the other situation, a wind turbine usually gives you more output for a whole day. And these are already kind of placed where wind turbines would be strong too. Mm, Kawaii just won the auction of nanotechnology and. I think it's a very powerful pattern, and it's more powerful considering the prices. Uh, a lot of hundreds, a lot of three-digit prices. So it will be great for Kawaii. However, other fields has the uh, off-road, has, has been optimizing, and has entered great markets. So it will be tough to for anyone to catch up other field. Yeah, so the reason why he is this strong right now is because when he was starting his snowballing phase, when he was getting ahead of the others, nobody used an EMP, and in fact nobody has used an EMP all game, it still costs 2k. And when everyone has like 100,000, 2k is very very cheap to be able to stop the potential winner. I think if I was other field, I would look to buy some stock into Cordarus because he's in a lot of debt, which makes his stock pretty cheap. And cheap stock is nice because you will get a cheaper subsidiary and you will boost your own stock price. Cordarus has just paid down a lot of debt. Oh. Yeah, he seems to enable the auto pay too. So that might save him from getting bought right now from other field. And we'll see if he can make some kind of comeback. I wouldn't mind but seeing I some were... offers. 
if I were uh, Corderas, I would have bought into my own stock, five stock, because the stock was cheap with the amount of debt, and then pay down the debt, so you get a cheaper, you get, you use the uh, situation a little bit to your advantage. Yeah, yeah, you can invest in yourself and then become pricier and then profit. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Can I get to HG5? You have seven claims. I think you should look at Chems. Glass. Uh, well, he's in glass already. I want to see him go into claims. Uh, Chems. <laughs> And yeah, all, all, still, uh, we said this before, but go into the eyes straight above you. It's nice to see the first fruit on other fields. Maybe not on farms, which is not making much profits. Yeah, so if, you, if you're not sure what to hit, you should hold the X key. You should see that the prime target here is, are his water pumps. They're making a lot of money. And I want to point out that Kawaii could make a lot of money here if he had the condensers. During the solar flare, ice condensers will make... So oh, we actually have some here. They're making $900 a second for a racket. It's a great tile to be in. And also look at the Pleasure Dome. With virtual reality, it's wow. making almost 600 That's an amazing Pleasure Dome. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Kawaii... Kawaii <laughs> Entering the market, but it will be still it will still be great for other field. Yeah, yeah, he's already made a lot from that. Now everyone is focusing on uh, other field, and other field is getting into Corderas. If other field plays it right, they can uh, buy Corderas first and have a big advantage, but. We never know what will happen. Yeah, anything can happen in stock phase. Kodoros actually has really <laughs> much more money than I thought he would have. Oh, it's these free water pumps. Yeah, he's been fed water money. So, Racket is running oh. minus 5 water per second. Wait, that's only because it's night. I'm not sure why water got so expensive, but Kodoros has been profiting from it for sure. That said, other field almost has to buy on Corderas, just waiting for one or two lunch. Yeah. Our methods continue to improve. So one thing you could do if your Kodar is here and you see that number rising and you were you're gonna get bought and lose. Now this might not work, but sometimes it does. If you sell out of other field, he might go for someone else instead. He will probably go for Kawaii. And you have a second chance to try to take a win. Yeah, yeah it's a strange strategy, but it sometimes works. And Cortara's doing exactly the, the, what you said? Oh, he did, nice. <laughs> yeah, so the reason now why Adderfield is less inclined to finish him is because Adderfield wants the free stock that you get with the buy. And when Kodoros sells out, he no longer will get this free stock. And instead, he'll look to Kawaii, because he will still get free free stock for now, when he buys Kawaii. And actually, if I was at the field, I would start buying into Kawaii. Still, Kodoros has a lot of money. I would still be buying into Kodoros, because the money is... Yeah, taken. yeah, okay, yeah, I agree. You're right. Hey, having 500k is too much, it's too big of a threat, you still have to finish it. But at least Cordaris is giving Kawaii a chance to avenge him, you can say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. However, I don't see enough water claims for Kawaii. So if other fields place the water market right, uh, he can shut down half of the markets from Kawaii. Yeah. Yeah, I, think I, I pointed out that I liked this from the best, but it was contingent on you using this ice. Mm -hmm. And you can see that water is expensive. And there's the bike. So Kawaii now needs... 450,000? Wait, I can just check. Right? 
No, I can't check. I, know, I can't do maps on stream, but he needs quite a lot of money. And I'm not sure how he's gonna get there. He started building an off-world market. I don't think that will pay itself. It cost 100,000 to place down. And we'll take around three launches to even pay for the investment. And that's three minutes, and that's a really long time. So, I'm afraid he won't be able to finish this buy. Mm -hmm. Other field already has 50% on Kawaii. Yeah, that's the water money. Look at these pumps. Oh, right, he's even optimized it. <clears throat> so yeah, I... I don't know. It's... it's hard to read these prices right now because he has such a big stockpile of water, but... I think it makes sense to turn these farms on. Because even though it looks like they're unprofitable, if you... S like, you can say the true price of water is much lower than 219. Because he has such a big stockpile of it. I think he wants mm -hmm. his farms on. And yeah, that nuke, um, it wouldn't have been very useful. It can be used as a goon popper, I guess. He other field now has uh, enough money to ship by Kawaii. Yeah. And it doesn't look like anyone is going to be able to stop him. So, yeah. Uh, you can see the carbon is really exploded. Uh, there is some carbon you can mule, although it's r really far away from everyone. The mule only costs you 2k and it will earn you a fair amount, even though it's low. Like, I would probably try to mule this low carbon near a racket space if I were him. And uh, nobody. Wait, okay, never mind. Kordaris has the carbon scrubbing patent, so he's making... Oh well, his ally, his sub is making... His AI. He's using that very well here. Using uh, using it to build electronics and chemicals. And there's the buy. Other field takes out Kawaii, and uh, we're pretty much just waiting oh. for the end right now. Already has 75%. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a very nice sub in Cardarus. Cardarus is worth a lot. I think the most of that is the carbon scrubbing patent and yeah, this water, I guess. So why do you think water is this expensive? Is it just Kawaii didn't get ice? Um, maybe... Let's see how much water Rocket has sold. Because if they've been selling water during the day and buying water during the night, it can make things awkward. I, I'm not sure what's ha been happening. Uh, and there we have the game. Adafield takes it. Congratulations to him. And yeah, I think, I think Racket was in two condensers, which I guess he might need three earlier. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's surprising that it's 160. It's very expensive. Mm. So, mm, I would say what win, what won the other field, the game, is the Pleasure Dome was nice. And early entry into early market other field went into was also all right. And most important, importantly, not many people try to stop other people from running away with good market entries. Yeah. Yeah, he had a nice start abusing the fight that still started at 30. And with a few and EPs, then, this game could be pretty different. And then other field uh, solidified the lead by getting into optimization centers and building up worlds so that even if other players uh, build offers too. Other people went into offer first and always have more money than others. That he cannot stall out anymore. Yeah. 
was very well played by Elfrin. I think if we're looking at the founts, I guess we went over the founts, but yeah. It, it's not an easy map, but one one, one found what I didn't actually think would work as well is Elfrin, but he's like in the middle between the iron and the aluminum. So the shipping isn't too bad, and he gets what he needs here. So I, I, I like his found more than I thought it would. Oh, he also made a lot. I didn't even notice these. He had two carbon claims. They were making a lot of money too. Yeah. So his found really worked out. And of course, when you're close to the colony, it's much easier to use the pressure dome. It's faster to ship out, and if there are dynamites, it's faster to repair. Though, yeah, there were no dynamites. Alright, we can look a look at how much you made. Mm, 300,000 in entertainment, that's really, really good. And his sub made him a lot too. Cordoris was a great sub. I think Cordoris should pay a bit more attention to his debt. He seems to get there a lot. Probably a bit a little. A bit less on the auctions. Like, yeah, you you get either the claim auction or the carbon scrubbing. Maybe not both, unless you're making power to keep your data. Looking at the black market, no one really bought a lot of black market. Uh, Cordaris did buy some EMPs and. Mutinies, but it was not enough to stop anyone. It just three black market attacks. Optimizations wise, Cordaris went into seven, uh, made seven, and other field researched 15. And so, definitely a good point to look there. Yeah. yeah I think it's always a good idea to have some optimizations. and. Uh... I like the ones that they got, especially water. All right. Let's see, we can report on the status of the tournament. It seems like group A, round five, base invader took the win, which means he wins the entire tournament. So congratulations to base invader. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, we casted him once, and he did very well. All right. Yeah, f thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you like the cast. Let us know if there you have any questions about any of the games. If you're watching this back. And yeah, thank you for joining the tournament. And thanks for casting with me, Roy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, alright, goodbye.